I'm Dan Wakeman. I made this. I take objects found on the beach and turn them into art or other functional element that you can adorn your house or your garden with. I just took a gamble and I just sent an email. I was overwhelmed with the, the response. I met a lovely lady and then she put me and signposted me to the course. I didn't know really what to expect and it was just a safe, relaxed environment that was informative and, and you know educational in the bit that we needed it to be of how to make starts and how to remain on the right side of everything, but also friendly, a safe environment where no question was a daft one. The main thing I learned from the course was I had it in me to do it. I had it in me to achieve uh, what I wanted to achieve, how I wanted to achieve it. And there were people there that would support me and help me in, in making that. It was just the, the right step at the right time, just for making that first step in myself and, and sending an email. Post course support has been awesome. The, the support, the friendship, the camaraderie, everything is, is just made the experience for me not only enjoyable but informative at the same time. Yeah, one of the, the, the things that I've learned is that you, you can't force it and the minute you try and make something in a certain way, in a certain time, it doesn't always come. And so the enjoyment for me is when I can see something in my mind's eye and then I make a start and I then just let it grow. It's just that it's relaxing, it's irritating, it's exciting, it's scary, it's all of those emotions. And sometimes you can go on an emotional roller coaster with it. My aim is to create something that is expressionist and a joy for people to hang on the wall. Sometimes it takes me a long time to make something because I keep coming back to it. The making and time in my workshop, it's my space. Four posts and a tin roof, but it's mine. I just love it. That making, that, that therapeutic of the air gun, and then now the joy on people's face when they see it. Even if they don't buy it, they still love it. They still go, wow. They go, oh, that's awesome. That sometimes is, is enough for me. I still need to sell it on occasions, but that is still sometimes, can still make my day. What makes Driftwood Art so special to me is every single piece is unique. For example, if I made a stag's head, if I took it all apart, took all the nails out, lined all of the sticks back up and tried to make a stag's head, it would not be the same stag's head. It would be totally different. For anyone thinking about starting their own business, just ask.